simplify, express with positive exponents. Let's go ahead and carefully work through this. So this looks pretty messy. So it's a good idea to first um, try to simplify what we have before jumping into the rules because um, it looks really, really messy. So right away, you might notice the 24 and the 8. So 8 goes into 24 three times. So we can put a 3 here up top. Okay, so we have that 3. So this is 1 and this is 3. Here we have x to the 5 and here we have x to the 6. So if you kind of go to the side and you write it down, x to the 5 over x to the 6, there's a couple ways to think about it. Method 1 is just to use the property. The property says you subtract. It's 5 minus 6, top minus bottom, and that's x to the negative 1. And then, the pro then you can bring it down and make it positive. So you're left with an x on the bottom, and you have this negative. That's not how I think about it. I think about it like this. We have five copies of x here. We have six down here. So we're going to lose five of them on the bottom. So we're left with one on the bottom, you see? Because five of them are going to cancel, right? You have six of them down here, and five of them are going to cancel. So you're left with one of them. That takes care of the x's. Here are these uh, negatives. This is really bugging me. I mean, you could subtract. I'm going to show you how I would do it. I would just flip them and make the exponents positive as a good first step. So I'd put the y up here and the y cube down here. It's maybe not, not the best way to do it. That's just how I would do it. Then in the next step, I would cancel the y's. So this will be 3 over negative x. And then using the same mentality, you have one y here. You have three of them here. So you're going to lose two of them on the bottom. You lose one of them on the bottom, sorry. So you're left with two, right? If you have three on the bottom and you lose one, you're left with two. And this is to the negative 3. All right. Now, again, many ways to proceed here. Um, I am thinking the following. So if you have something like a to the negative 3, that's really 1 over a cubed, right? So this negative is really bugging me. So let's write this as 1 over this whole thing cubed. And now we can cube each piece. So it's 1 over 3 cubed over negative x y squared cubed. And this is in parentheses. And when you divide, you really multiply by the reciprocal. So it's really 1 times negative x y squared cubed over 3 cubed. And again, maybe not the best way to do it. This is just what came to me right now on the spot. There's other ways of doing it. So you can bring the negative 3 downstairs. It becomes positive, And then you can cube each piece using properties of exponents. And dividing means you multiply by the reciprocal. So it's 1 divided by all of this. So it's times the reciprocal. Let's go ahead and do that multiplication. So we're left with negative x y squared cubed over, and then 3 cubed is 27. All right, now we can cube each piece up top. The rule says when we have a product like this, we cube each piece. So it's negative x cubed. And it's y squared cubed. Not a pretty problem. <laughs> Over 27. When you cube a negative number, you keep the negative, okay? So it's just going to be x cubed because it's odd. Whenever this number's odd, you keep the negative. So if it was like 7, the negative stays. If it's 9, the negative stays. If it's like an even number, it goes away. And then here you multiply. 2 times 3 is 6. And there we have it. Over 27. And that would be the final answer.